All right. Just a few days ago, there was this news that the viral coffin dance meme sold for over one million dollars. That is, if you've been, if you, if you've heard about the coffin dance, I remember watching the video a lot of times. It was part of, um, it was people use it a lot for memes. And then the NFT just sold for over one million dollars. So, what exactly is an is an NFT? You know, so many there's been so many buzz about NFT since last year, 2021, towards the end of last year, and now and now. And the question is, what exactly is NFT? How do we make money from NFTs? The truth is, it seems like this NFT making money from NFT is like a thing of chance. It's a, like a thing of chance or a thing of like really good marketing or a thing of like the unique something very unique out of the blue sells for a ridiculous amount of money. But let me point something out for you. NFTs are digital art. Now I'm going to point out one or two use cases of NFT. I'm going to point out one or two use cases of NFT. Now, let me describe something for you. Let me describe a scenario. Do you remember um, ever having art around your houses or going to a place or watching a movie and you see an art hanging on the wall? Yes. Those arts you see hanging on the wall, those are like a physical art. And have you ever wondered why anyone would pay a ridiculous amount of money for just a piece of art artwork? So people appreciate art. People just see an art and they, they pay for it. A lot of brilliance and, and a lot of creativity goes into making some art. Now, but the thing is, over the years, there can be, you know, there have been news of fake or uh, fake art or stealing uh some art stolen from museum or across the globe or across the continent. So how do you verify that this art is owned by the original owner? Then then, they then came in um, NFT. NFT is a short for non-fungible token. Now the non-fungible part means that it is not easily interchangeable for another. For example, if you have, for example, if you have um let me use beans for example you made a drawing of beans and you want to sell the drawing of beans in the marketplace you can't exchange one beans for another beans no just like in the market like in the on your exchanges whereby you want to sell one token for another you want to sell your bnb for usdt that one is fungible it's fungible because you can interchange what you have for another but in case of NFTs, they are non-fungible in the sense that you have to buy, you have to bid or buy my art at whatever price I put it at or you bid against it or you bid against the art. For example, for example, let me use my bin scenario for example. I, I, I place my, my art, I designed these very beautiful bins and I place it on an NFT marketplace like OpenSea and then I place it at a particular price so you will keep on people will keep on coming to it and they will bid it at a, bid a particular price they will say okay I want to buy your this at this at this amount if you've ever watched movies where where they um, like an art where they are raising funds they're using arts to raise funds and all these rich people are in a, all sitting together and they place an art or they place a jewelry yeah they place a jewelry jewelry auction and then people are placing ten thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars fifty thousand dollars and then when nobody else comes above fifty thousand dollars they will declare the the uh, jewelry or the art sold for fifty thousand dollars that's how nfts are when you list these nfts or mint these nfts on marketplaces people your people come and go to the marketplaces and look for rest rare, rare stuff look for very creative stuff or look for something like out of the ordinary or just simply they would just like your idea just like the same way that you are amazed that someone will buy a painting and you wonder what's in the painting for it to be worth that amount of money that's the same with nfts now the joy of nft is that you are the one that truly own it you own that nft for the rest of your life because it is on the blockchain it's on the blockchain the nft is on the blockchain so just like this scenario now whereby the, um, this NFT of the coffin dance, the coffin dance meme that really ruined like um, a couple of years ago, 
everywhere like everywhere you go to you see the meme just like the nft was sold for over a million dollars that is the same way that if you mint something an nft and somebody really f sees the ingenuity that sees the, the uniqueness the rare, rarity in that nft or just sees the creativity in that nft in that design you made so it's more than just a jpeg you know you know at some point it became like is it just pictures that people just upload on NF on the nft marketplaces and people come to buy them it's more than just jpegs it's like what I see as unique to spend money on might be different from you. Now, apart from that, there's a place of utility. All right. Now, in this scenario, now, this was this um this coffin dance, but there's news of utility whereby people go, um people buy an NFT because of the utility around it. For example, NFT brought on board several use cases. Before NFT came on board, like it was just a, a thing of there's a painting. It's a very creative painting that is unique, maybe that's been existing for centuries and has been coming down over the ages. And someone said, because of the fact that this was directly painted or created by somebody known, like from the past, like for someone from centuries ago, it's going to be like what a lot of money. That's the only painting that exists. Like the way you buy your vintage cars or buy vintage stuff. Just because you say oh this bottle of wine has been in existence for 100 years only it exists it's going to cost a lot of money because of what is rare it's really rare and it's not it's very unique but now we've brought it that was that was very limited to get but with nfts now the it became limitless like what you can use nfts to do became very limitless for example now you, it's, it's possible that you have a club club or a board and you have members in your club or members in your board and you want your um those in your club your club members to have access to some kind of rights access to some kind of stuff and the way to give them that access is to mint nfts and only those that buy that nfts at the price that you set it at will have access to all these rights and these NFTs will be uh, verifiable on the blockchain. So that's one way. So that's utility attached to it. That was why um, this board Ape Yacht Club was able to be very expensive and became very popular. And those that were holding those NFTs were the ones that had access to the airdrop that happened and they distributed to their communities. So that's one aspect of it. The disaster of gains. You know, you used to play games when we were much younger, and before we could, uh, before you upgrade to any level in your games, you have to, um, you know, you have to buy some game items. Like if you're playing car games, you have to buy cars to upgrade. If you're playing uh, some games like um, uh, a Candy Crush, you have to buy some. You 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 use up your opportunities or the free ones that you've re you received and you didn't really need to scale uh, scale above a particular level then you and you wanted to just scale so badly you just have to pay some money to buy those stuff now if any time post that game on your phone all your progress is lost all your progress will be lost like all the money you've invested in it the only thing you received, you had you gained from it was a phone the, you know the, the the thrill of playing that game but then NFT came in again to save the day. Now with NFTs, those things that you buy to either start playing the game, you know, some games are like you have to pay to start playing. While some games have some free mode, but for you to really, really enjoy the game, you need to buy some things, some premium items in the game to start playing. But with NFTs, now these things that you buy in these games can now be in the form of NFTs. This means you that is buying them can truly own these nfts like truly own these nfts and when you own them you can sell them back later you can sell them back later for you can sell them back later for you know any amount of money that you're looking for that you place them you can sell them and and the beautiful thing about in-game NFTs is is that 
it depends on how much you can afford like it, it varies with games so there's some games that are free to play one way to access free to play games is by joining guilds that way these guilds buy these nfts and you just have to play for the uh, guild and you earn as you play as you win a lot as you win a lot of games playing for them so now the how do you sell your nfts you sell them on nft marketplaces for example one of them is open you sell them on marketplaces open we have so many of the rarible and all of that you can find them from your wallet your decentralized wallet you can see marketplaces there you can assess different you can browse about them and you can find out where uh, how to do this i have some videos on how to mint nfts like how to mint and uh, create your NFTs using these marketplaces. They made it very, very easy. But of course, NFTs are is too broader than this. Then, beyond that, there's some platforms whereby you can stake your NFTs and end yield. Where there's some platform like if you own these very rare NFTs and you really need phones so badly, you can borrow. You can use your NFTs as, as collateral to borrow uh, to borrow funds. Yeah, to borrow funds. So NFTs have gone beyond J. It's, it's beyond JPEGs. You know, people see NFT and think about JPEGs. No, and it's it's way more than those creative arts that sold for high prices that you're used to. That those parts that are hang around your houses or some houses that you know that you visited or in the museums, NFTs are now way more than that. NFTs can be used for your in-game items. NFTs, uh, like this play-to-end thing we're talking about now, NFT is part of it. NFT is is a core part of play-to-earn. And um, okay, so what has been your experience with NFTs? I hope I was able to like throw some light to NFTs and you know make you understand this whole coffin dance NFTs is, like over a million dollars and lots of other NFTs that have really really sold for high prices. And um, I feel that NFT, the use case of NFTs are like are still unraveling. We are not even we've not even touched the top of it yet like the we've not even touched any like one percent of what nfts can do especially when it comes to copyright when it comes to copyright like with nfts you can copyright your music and you're so sure that nobody can just come wake up home and say your music is not your music is my music you know because it's going to be very verifiable on the blockchain your movies your videos uh, your name it like anything creative your books can you can you can mint your books on the nft on the nft blockchain and then on on the blockchain and only the number of books that you've minted will ever exist and anybody that have access to that own that you know bought your book will always have that book forever and ever and nobody can come and steal it from them okay not like they come not like okay let me scratch that scratch that of course nfts can be stolen but it's very very verifiable on the blockchain so just make sure you protect your nfts very well make sure that your the wallets you're using are highly secured and it's because those very rare nfts that you have somebody might be eyeing it so you always prepare it so what do you think about nfts and how far do you think the nft buzz will last and uh, what do you think generally so don't forget to like like this video and don't forget to recommend this video to someone don't forget to share your ideas beneath this video so much more videos coming for you to you and don't forget to forget to turn on the notification button on so see you in my next video see you